once there lived the Darling family in London. The family included the parents and their three kids, Michael, John, and eldest girl, Wendy. She was a very loving girl and always took care of her siblings. They had a nanny for the children. This nanny was a big Newfoundland dog called Nana. Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Tinker. The next day in the evening, Mrs. and Mr. Darling were about to leave for a party. John, Michael, Wendy, we are leaving. All kids came down and Mother hugged them. The kids went back to the bedroom and slept. Soon after, a light fell down on the roof. Peter Pan and Tinkerbell had returned. Peter Pan slowly opened the window and rushed into the house. Tinkerbell started flying around every corner of the house, making noise and dropping objects. Shh! Don't make noise. They will wake up. Tinkerbell opened the drawer where Peter Pan's shadow was hiding. Peter grabbed the shadow. Ah! Let me tie you again. Peter Pan made all the efforts to tie his shadow, but he failed. Shh! Don't move! But Wendy was already up and staring at Peter Pan with her jaw open. Oh, no. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Peter Pan. I'm trying to tie my shadow back. Give it to me. I will do it. Wendy started to sew it with a needle and thread. While Wendy was sewing, Peter Pan told her about Neverland. He lived in Neverland with the Lost Boys. He is the captain of the Lost Boys. He tells Wendy stories to boys. Tinkerbell was getting jealous of this new bonding. Oh, wow! What an adventurous life you have! Do you want to come with me? Can I? Can my brothers also come? Uh... Oh, yes. Why not? You can be a mother to the boys, and you can tell them bedtime stories. It's done. Now your shadow can't run away from you. I will wake John and Michael up. Thank you, Wendy. Peter gave a walnut pendant to Wendy as a token of gratitude. Wendy introduced John and Michael to Peter Pan. Both brothers were happy to see the Peter Pan. Come on, let's start flying. It's a long journey. But we can't fly. It's easy. You just have to believe it in your head, and you need a little bit of pixie dust. Come here, Tink. With a little bit of hesitation, Tinkerbell showered them with pixie dust. Are you ready to fly? Yes. yes. Okay, then. Let's go. And they began their journey. On their way, they passed the London Bridge, the clock tower, and soon started flying above the clouds. In the morning, with the first ray of the sun, they saw the world's largest building. After some miles, they saw Neverland and landed on the soft clouds to see the view. This is beautiful! Look, there is the Mermaid Lagoon! Hey, Peter, where is that smoke coming from? That one is the Red Indian Camp. And you must not dare to ignore the ship Jolly Roger where Captain James Hook and his pirates reside. Hook's the meanest pirate ever, but he's afraid of the crocodile. <laughs> Why? Once when I was fighting Hook, I cut off his hand with my sword. Oh! The crocodile bit off Hook's hand and liked the taste so much that it follows him to eat him up. Luckily for Hook, the crocodile swallowed the clock in his hand. It goes tick tock, tick tock and warns Hook when the crocodile is nearby. At that time, one of the pirates spotted them through the spyglass. Captain, Captain, I saw the Peter Pan and his friends. Captain Hook came onto the deck and grabbed the spyglass to confirm. Prepare the cannon, aim at Peter. Fire, fire, fire! This time I will not let him go alive. 
Hey, look, there's that ball. Let's play with that. That's not a ball. That's the cannonball. Let's separate. Tink, take the kids to a safer place. I'll take care of Hook. Tinkerbell thought of a mischievous idea to get rid of Wendy. Wendy, you just stay here. I will get back to you. Uh, okay, go carefully. She caught John and Michael's hands and landed them swiftly on the shore. While Wendy was struggling in the sky dodging the cannonball, Peter Pan went straight to Captain Hook. Hook, you want another hand with a hook? Come catch me. Hook pulled out his gun and started to fire. Peter dodged all his shots like a bird. Tinkerbell called out to the lost boys for help. There were five lost boys, Tootles, Nips, Slightly, Curly, and the twins. Boys, Peter told me to kill that Wendy bird. We must obey the Peter's order. Aim at the bird. All bowed the arrows and aimed at Wendy. Yeah. Wendy was still struggling to find everyone. Peter Pan, John, Michael, Tinkerbell, where are you all? Nibs shot his arrow right onto Wendy's chest and she fell down to the bushes. All the lost boys ran to see the fallen bird along with Tinkerbell. You coward, Peter Pan! Come to the shore! Okay, if you want me to. Peter Pan jumped to the ground with his sword. They engaged in a sword fight. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The clock sound distracted Captain Hook. She is back! She is back! The hungry crocodile came there to devour Captain Hook. Captain Hook got scared and ran away towards the ship. <laughs> Look, she is a girl. A beautiful girl. Tinker, why did you tell us to kill her? Peter Pan came to the place with John and Michael. What happened to her? Who shot this arrow? Tinker flies into the tree to hide. Tinkerbell told us that you ordered to kill her. She is a bird. Oh, Tinker, wherever you are, stay there. Don't ever show me your face again. Oh, <laughs> Wendy, what happened to you? Open your eyes. Peter pulled the arrow from her chest and realized there is no blood on the arrow. It hit the walnut pendant which he gifted Wendy. Wendy slowly opened her eyes. Peter, I, I was looking for you. I'm here with you. Come inside the house. Why don't you tell us a bedtime story? Yes, sure. I will tell you the story of Cinderella. Yay! 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 Hooray! <gasps> the next day, they all left to visit the Mermaid Lagoon. Beautiful mermaids were Peter's friends. Suddenly, a boy shouted. Pirates, take cover! Everyone hid behind the rocks. Peter and Wendy could see that the pirates had tied up Tigress Lily, the Indian princess. The pirates had left her on a rock in the lagoon. Oh no, Tigress Lily, I have to save her. Peter started mimicking Captain Hook's voice. Set her free! But uh, Captain, you ordered us to bring her here. Let her go, stupid! It's my new strategy to catch Peter Pan! Aye, aye, Captain! Pirates set Tiger Lily free. She ran quickly back to the Indian camp. When Captain Hook found out what had happened, he knew Peter had tricked his pirates. Hook became furious. Enough now! I will teach Peter Pan a lesson! I'm coming for you, Peter Pan! That night, Wendy told the boys a story about three children who left their parents and flew to Neverland. Their mother and father missed them very much. The children loved Neverland, but they never forgot their home. Doesn't this sound like our journey? Oh, yes. This is all about us. Sometimes parents forget their children. Other children take their place. Our parents must be waiting for us. We should go home now. We will leave tomorrow morning. But who will tell us the stories? Well, why don't you all come along? You can live with us. Yay! It will be great to have a family! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Peter, 
Don't you want to come with us? You all will grow up soon. I want to be a boy. I don't want to live where elders tell us what to do. Peter Pan was sad because his friends were leaving the next day, and he would be all alone. In the morning, the children left the house. Peter didn't go out to see them departing. Captain Hook's pirates were hiding nearby. They captured all the children, tied them up, and took them to the pirates' ship. Tinkerbell was seeing them from the treetop. Oh God, where's Peter Pan? I must alert him. Peter, Peter, where are you, Peter? What happened, Tinker? Let's go to save our friends. The pirates caught them. Oh, okay. Let's go and feed Captain Hook to the crocodile. On the pirate ship, all the kids were tied up. You will be a perfect lunch for the crocodile, and she will spare me forever. I've got you, Hook. Captain Hook started a sword fight with Peter Pan. Peter lunged with his sword, and Hook fell into the sea. <laughs> Hook whole, and that was the end of Captain Hook. Tinkerbell untied the kids. They all gathered around Peter Pan. You are brave, Peter, like a hero in the stories. Now I will tell your story to all the kids. Well, it's my honor. Come on, get ready to leave, or have you changed your mind? <laughs> Peter, please come with us. I'm Peter Pan, who never grows up. I will accompany you till you're home. Yay! Yay! They all set off for London. Wendy's parents were happy to see their children again. Mr. and Mrs. Darling hugged Wendy, John, and Michael. I knew you would come back one day. I missed you so much, my babies. Who are these kids, Wendy? They are lost boys: Tootles, Nibs, Slightly, Curly, and the twins. They came from Neverland to live with us. Can they stay with us? Yes, of course. Hooray! Hooray! Woohoo! Peter was floating outside the window. Peter, don't you want to reconsider your decision? I'm going to stay in Neverland, where I will never have to grow up. Goodbye then, Peter. We'll miss you. Goodbye, Wendy. Goodbye, boys. Don't forget me. Peter Pan and Tinker Bell waved goodbye and flew away to Neverland. <laughs>